being uh, I segued into this from the last one, here we are, Angels in the Dark. Takayoshi? Omira? Omura? Yeah. Uh, I think we just heard this guitarist in a baby metal track. So, uh, that's what I'm listening for. Now, my ear is not that that trained. Uh, I'm not sure if I can tell, tell. Uh, like, oh, that's for sure, right? Ideas, hints, understandings, slowly growing. That's all. Some uh, revelation of musical understanding. Eh, and I wouldn't go that far. This is very good. Yeah, I like this. Uh, yeah, I like that first one too. So, very cool. Uh, and now I understand that uh, you know the guitarist uh, plays in both bands. I I think now is that Mike uh, D? Is that a full time gig or is that going back and forth all the time or is that a does Baby Metal do that guest spot basically featured artists where they can swap out? That is one of the advantages of having uh, the makeup, you know, the uh, uh, supporting artists in the band, right? Because you can, you can always uh, bring in featured artists. I'm just curious. I have no clue, obviously. Uh, embracing my ignorance right now. Yay!
That's cool. Now I understand. Uh, Angels in the Dark. Uh, we're just listening for some, uh, you know, guitar playing, riff slaying, and, uh, you know, uh, musical arrangements kind of thing. Uh, yeah, I think the guitarist is exceptional. Can I tell this is the same person? No, no, no. I can't. Skill-wise, <clears throat> yeah, you know what I mean? You can see the, the skill level. Um, that's cool. That's cool. It's, uh, it will give me a reason to listen closer to two different artists now. So, I mean, I like knowing that connection. Mike, thank you. Uh, uh, well, now I understand I got to move on to more. So, till the next one. <laughs>